Quinn. Heading into the 10th round of the USBA Middleweight Championship. In between rounds, they were telling Hopkins, do not break with your hands down. When you break, go back with your hands up. He's catching it. Good right hand. But Gilbert Baptiste tried to pull the power away from that right hand. Dangerous move by pulling backwards. You don't pull back far enough, you get blocked. They want Gilbert to put pressure on pressure. And in the corner of Bernard Hopkins, he's hearing it from the former heavyweight and light heavyweight champion, Michael Spinks. your lips. Michael, and the, fight, the fighters feel that too. Michael finding out that it is uh, easier to get in the ring and fight than have to watch one. Oh, it is too. It's so difficult to try to tell somebody how to fight. It's easier to get in there and do it yourself, especially when you do it so good like Michael Spinks did. Halfway through the 10th round, Baptiste with the right, tries another one, falling off with right hands. Gilbert Baptiste Muscular middleweights. Just guts and determination in Baptiste. Busy pace, aggressive style, no nonsense work ethic. Work ethic. A guy who lost eight of his first 14 fights, hung in there, hooked up with Billy Moore since that time. He is 20 and 6. And now one win away to possibly getting a crack at a middleweight championship. But that one went away is easier said than done. We have the NABF heavyweight title fight over the horizon. Alex Garcia versus Mike Williams. Two big heavyweights. Garcia also looking over the horizon to a possible world championship shot. Steve Smoker separates the two. Now leaning on one another and don't appear to be too interested in being separated. Scheduled for 12. A little dancing from Bernard Hopkins. And a good combination from Bernard. And that will tick out round number 10. Ten rounds down, two rounds to go. Bernard Hopkins for the first time in past the tenth round. So Hopkins uh, big wins, 21 straight after he lost his first fight as a cruiserweight. Defeated Percy Harris in one of his rare distance fight, a six rounder. Stopped Dennis Milton. His three ten rounders against Willie Kemp, Randy Smith, Annabelle Miranda. And right now it's Gilbert Baptiste looking to take Bernard Hopkins the distance at 12. How do you have this scored after 10 rounds? I've got it very close. Could go either way. I've got a 5-4-1 Hopkins. However, you have a point being taken away in that eighth round from uh, Gilbert Baptiste. But it could be, it could easily be 5-4-1 Baptiste. No, Baptiste has been the aggressor in this fight, too. And you must get points for that. Tough fight. Gilbert Baptiste has done a good job of applying pressure, taking the fight to Bernard Hopkins. Hopkins never in trouble in this fight. Baptiste was in trouble in the eighth. And then uh, able to wiggle his way out of it with a low blow in which he incapacitated Hopkins for uh, about a minute and a half. Good boxing, good movement from Hopkins. Good combination and move. Two well-skilled fighters. Well-chiseled Baptiste. 
kid's been fighting since he was nine years old. Come up, buddy. Come up. Come on. Come on. Boxing game a long time. And growing up with a boxing city, Philadelphia. Finding a hole, Gilbert Baptiste. Baptiste has Hopkins where he wanted him in the later rounds. Steve Smogan from the Atlantic City, New Jersey area, coming out the west. Double S. Steve Smother. Terrific referee. And handling this uh, USBA title fight in Denver. You know you have a good referee when you don't see him much. Let the fighters fight. Ten seconds left in the 11th. Does a good job of pulling him to the center of the ring, too, when he breaks him. Final ten seconds, they need to rally. Go, and you know these two fighters will air it out. And the crowd here is anxious to see just that, and that's what they're anticipating. The crowd coming to life. John O'Grady has this very, very even. Even considering at this point that the winner of this round wins this fight. I've got it very even. Very even, and I have not taken the point away in that eighth round. Now a critical. Which point taken away? Yeah. But it, it allowed that yes to critical by, uh, and a masterful move by Baptiste. He had to he had to survive. It's given him the chance right. going into the 12th round. Remember, it's scoring on a 10-point must system. Ooh. A lot of inspiration in this corner between rounds. Billy Moore, Jeff Brooks, Jimmy Palmer over there, all encouraging him. Come on, give it everything you've got this round, and you're the champion. And you know what? I think they're right. It's the knockout artist Hopkins against the tough ex-Marine. Hopkins has drilled 16 of his opponents, 12 in the first round. Baptiste never taken out. Baptiste flings it to the body of Hopkins. John, you mentioned before, Ray Mercer on his way to a major payday then loses to Jesse Ferguson. Bernard Hopkins, and I give him credit, he knew the, there's a Roy Jones fight lingering out there and a big money fight. And uh, a lot of fighters in his position may have pulled out against a, a Gilbert Baptiste, but Hopkins hanging in there. Because, hey, if I'm going to be a middleweight champion of the world, i got to beat a Gilbert Baptiste. The overhand right has been the punch that has done a lot of damage for Hopkins. And a little wobble in the legs of Baptiste here in the 12. Inside the final minute, Hopkins noticing that. Baptiste holding on. Baptiste is definitely hurt. His mouth is open. He is tired. The hands have come down. Golden opportunity for Hopkins. Now, tired of this clinching, he's trying to punch going backwards, trying to make Baptiste run into something. Very close, close fight. And here's the final 20 seconds. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. Good match. Oh, good right hand. The same right hand that has scored throughout this fight for Hopkins. And that will do it. No furious finish. That's it. 36 minutes, 12 tough rounds. Who won the fight? We'll find out when we return.